All right, today we're going to make a car maintenance journal, and this is our model. Um, I made this, uh, it's, it's quite large, it's just a blank journal. Uh, but the, the one we're going to make is going to be specialized for my smart car. Here are the covers. The uh, front and back covers look like that. The smart car and the smart car logo. And you can make any cover you want. That's the beauty of this construction because once you uh, do your covers, you just stitch it all together with whatever your content is blank in this case but in my car maintenance journal I have made uh, pages here to keep track of when I fill up the gas and also uh, an additional section for maintenance and repairs and I have I bought this uh, smart car new in 2008 and I rarely drive. I, I'm averaging less than 2,000 miles a year, but I keep track of everything to see how good the mileage is and all that. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is decide on the size, which I decided on a nice little size like this because it'll fit in the glove box. And then I tore these pages from a large art pad and you have to be sure to tear it in the way that when it folds, it folds with the grain and those will fit inside of the covers. Now to make it look a lot in more interesting, you can see on the edge I've got uh, these colors. Those are just pieces of paper glued onto the, the back of each um, signature. And so I use different colors cut these out with these serrated scissors to make it kind of an interesting edge and it make it kind of irregular looking so um, what you do is you just cut your strips out um, and glue them down to the center of the page then when they're dry cut them off with the scissors so that they're even and then fold the whole thing together once you have your signatures folded, that's when you have to um, clamp them into uh, whatever you got. If you had a book press, that's great. I don't. I just make this makeshift clamping device. And these things have been in here for over a day now, so they have set up very nicely, I'm sure. We can take them out. And we'll see. How they look. Kind of stuck together a little bit from the force. Hopefully that won't be a problem. There we go. Um, part of the charm of all this is that it looks rustic so I guess if they kind of bleed over to each other that's fine. Uh, most of the color is what you just see on the edge and pull all these apart. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe they weren't dry enough when I put them together but uh, anyway that's the color scheme on the back of this one. They will fit between two covers like this and like this and should be quite beautiful. They, they expand out greatly when you stitch them together because the, uh, the string will make it fatter looking. But um, our next step is to poke holes in these and you can see here how it's uh, how, how this is going to work. So for me, the way I drive, this book will last for the rest of my life. It's got so many fill-ups um, that I will <laughs> never need. And this is the one for the service, where it just has a date and odometer. And then I've got a section in the back of just blank pages in case there's anything I want to write in there. 
All right, so we're gonna set up for punching holes in the signatures. All right, the way we do this is I've got marks here on a page that they're set out uh, an inch in from either side and then dividing the, addition, the remaining space between them into three sections. So there's going to be four rows of stitches, obviously on this larger book. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows of stitches um, just because it's so much longer. Um, generally about an inch, inch and a quarter apart is uh, going to give a good look. And so um, once you've got those marks marked out, just fold it inside out like that so that I can see them. Take a phone book, which is about the last use I found for phone books anymore. Um, take a phone book, take one of your signatures, open it up to the middle, put your template in there inside get it centered and down in there and let me make sure you can see this get it exactly centered and in there take an awl and punch it punch the hole through into the phone book it's the perfect background for this. That punch all the way through very nicely, very uniformly. And then take your template out. You have just punched holes through all the way and um, I can't tell you how many YouTube videos there are where people sit and punch the holes individually on each sheet. And it takes them, I just, I don't know why anyone would ever do that. It's ridiculous. But I'm going to do that once for each signature, and then we'll be on to the next step. Okay, as you can see, I have all the holes punched in, all, in, in the signatures, and they should line up pretty well. Uh, that's what the whole template's for, and um, I am ready to prepare the cover with the same holes and also holes for the, the end bands, which is uh, an important element in this whole thing so we'll show you how to do that too. First of all I've made a template. There's my cover and I have uh, made this thing focus. Um, I've made I've laid this out the way it's going to be. Now most of the time when you see these Coptic stitch end bands they come from two large holes on the um, on the cover. And I don't like the way that looks. I like, I've come up with this. And these are spaced out in exactly the same way that the signatures are spaced. And, and, then I, and if you do that, the holes are so large that you can't put them all in a row. You have to stagger them like this in this V shape. And that's what the template does. Um, gives you, tells you where the holes are so you can punch that into your cover without thinking about it. Um, so what I do is just place that squarely on the on the edge of the cover get it exactly where I want it put the phone book under it another use for the phone book I don't know what they're gonna what I'm gonna do when they stop making them and then you just punch each hole you can just do a little just a, a little one at first and then punch it all the way through later so you don't make your template holes too huge just push straight down so the hole ends up directly below the template the deviation is not going to matter much but you know the better the closer you do it the better all right and now I've got uh, the placement of those holes in there and then I'll have to punch them all the way through 
in a second. And then what you do is turn the template over to do the other corner. They're a mirror image. So get that lined up really well and then punch those holes. One, two, three, nine, ten. Now I've got I've got the, those there. And then the last step is we have to punch holes in the cover that, that correspond with the holes in the in the uh, signatures. So what I do is now these I'm, but so the, the the last hole on either end of the um, of the end band holes is the last signature hole. So I just I'll space this directly evenly between the two and then place the other two one there and one there. So now I'll have now I'll have holes there for the other for the Coptic stitch in the cover and then and then all those end band ones. All right, I'm going to do that for the other cover, punch the holes all the way through and then we'll start stitching it together.